It was the same situation. Ah. <laughs> but you know one thing, when God calls you, my husband's uh, ambition was not out of personal uh, interest. There were so many prophecies that came because we believe truly in prophecy and God. Personally, I was never interested in politics. He was never. We never went to our state to do anything political. But when this prophecy started coming, we did not regard it as anything. But in 2013, I was out there in the U.S. for summer with the children. When my husband called me, he said, Coco, something has come up. That's how we call ourselves, Coco. Coco, what does Coco yes. mean? Is it oh, the it's chocolate? It's not. No. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Personal yeah. person, so yes. to speak. Okay. Mm -hmm. He said, something has come up. I said, what is it? He said, the state governor has called on him to come and be the secretary to the state government. I said, okay. So what are you saying? What do you... He said, well, I think uh, I have to pray about it. I said, fine, that's what we should do. Let's pray about it. So that's how the journey started. He eventually went as the secretary to the state government in 2013. The next thing he told me, it's like the governor wants to hand over the state to him. I told him again, you know what? Let's take it back to God. If it is his will, it will come to pass. Because one thing I know is when God asks you to move, if you don't move, something may happen. You become Jonah inside the fish. Right? Yes. So we prayed about it and with our pastors, they confirmed it, that he should go. It wasn't easy. There were a lot of resentments from people back home mm -hmm. because we were not in a quiet boom. He has never participated in politics. Out of the blues, you are coming to be the governor of the state. But no one God backs you up. No matter the challenges you face, you overcome it. So that was the journey. I had peace because God spoke and was speaking and speaking all the time. So I let it go. That panic disappeared. That's so his emergence was very peculiar. So many people say, who is this uh, political neophyte? What does he know about politics and that and that and that? He would, they will tell the successor then, this is a bad market. <laughs> we cannot sell this one. He will not excel. But in all of this, my husband was just keeping quiet, doing his thing, and God was just leading him from one point to another. And we won. And you know, we ended up eight years successfully.